track covers 4.0 meters in 8.5 seconds while uniformly slowing down to a final velocity of 2.8 meters per second. A. Find the track's original speed. B. Find its acceleration. Um, so here we are going to utilize um, the... We are going to make use of the distance formula. In this case the average distance. So we are going to say um, the, the average distance distance average is going to be given by um, the average the velocity the average times the time so now um, the velocity average will be given by so x will be equal to v minus v naught v, let me say v1 minus v2 over 2 t since we have got two velocities in this case and then the velocity that we'll be looking for is um let me put a plus here the velocity that we'll be looking for is one of these by the way so the original speed so in this case we can put any to be the original speed because um we've taken the average so it's the initial plus the final so now we can make this one of them such a formula or you can just solve for it so um the best to do is plugging the values first then you try to see what it brings you to so now when you plug in the values we are going to have our x our x is 40 is equal to um let's put our original velocity as v as v1 then it will be plus the final velocity will be 2.8 over 2 the time is 8.5 8.5 5 divided by 2 having it been equal to um v1 plus 2.8 this is the half of this one is 4.25 when you divide both sides by 4.25 4.25 um, we're going to have v1 plus 2.8 being equal to 40 divided by 4.25 this one is going to give us um 9.41 the velocity is equal to when this one goes aside to be 1.41 minus 2.8 so the velocity is going to be equal to 9.41 minus 2.8 this one will be given by 6.61 meters per second um then we go to where do we go to next um the b part says find the acceleration well acceleration so this is b so acceleration is given by velocity um, final minus velocity initial over the time. So acceleration then is going to be given by the final velocity is we are being given in the question. It's 2.8. Then the initial velocity is the one which we found here. The velocity before um everything all started it was 6.61 over the time taken that's 8.5. Then when you find this one using your calculator that's 2.8 minus 6.61 divided by 8.5 so that you're going to have um 0 0 0.45 meters per second squared but then remember it's negative that's as we have it in the calculator so this makes sense for acceleration to be negative because this thing is actually slowed down so this is some sort of deceleration so you can say deceleration is going to be equal to 0 0.45 meters per second but since you are told to find acceleration all you can do is just end here so that's all for question 5 we go on to question 6